Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be doing a desk tour slash where I placed our stable. I guess it's kind of a room tour. I mean, I placed our stable in my room, so I haven't done one of these types of videos since I think it was 2018 and I was in a different house. And then before that, I think I did another desk tour. Maybe it was 2016. I'll see if I can put those videos on the screen. Hi everyone, it's Violet and I'm going to be showing you where I placed our stable and some information about the computer I use. Level 13 actually in these, which is really funny. This is my desk. Usually I don't have my microphone on top of it unless I'm recording because I want more space on top of it. So. I throw it in the closet when I'm not recording anything. For my desktop, some people ask what kind of computer do you have? What are the specs? That was kind of the point of my brother doing it so he could pick out what was good and then put it together. So the first thing is a litter box and you're probably thinking like, what the heck? Like, why would you put your litter box like on the carpet? There's another one in the bathroom. They don't actually even like using this one. They. I just put it in here because Boots sleeps with me at night. This is where I put my keys. And then this is what my closet looks like. Those are all my breeches. And then I have like a diamond painting and just, yeah. And then I have my boots and just, I don't even know. The only reason why it's light in my closet is because my LED lights are on and I ran them into my closet because, you know fancy like that. I covered the front of my computer with paper, but the cats messed it up and I kind of want to take it off. The back of my desk chair, it's a cat scratcher. This is my giant desktop. It's a huge white box basically with a glass side. I tried to make the cords nice and like hide them behind it, but like see I tried to tape it, but I just kind of gave up. And then I have my planner and a tissue box. I don't even know why it's fake wood. That's just what was in the store. My microphone is a blue Yeti. I have the cheap black keyboard that came with my old Asus desktop because I love how it sounds actually. Then my mouse is a Logitech one. On the wall, I have this cat. It's actually a cat plate and it's supposed to be a jewelry holder or something, but my cats knock it over and so I can't have it on a surface. I have one regular lamp and then the other light that I don't exactly know what it's called. It's like, I call it a depression light, but it's a light that's supposed to make you feel better when there's, when there's not a lot of actual sunlight. I have these two white shelves. The bottom one has these jars. One is Lovey's fur and one is pumpkins and I got them when they died and then these pictures, one of them, well, the one on the right is my cousins at the lake. And then the other one is me and Lola. And then this jar, this jar came from my brother's funeral reception thing. I actually don't know what it's called. And then the flowers inside came from Maddie. They're like preserved flowers or something. And then I took them out of what she gave me them in and then stuck them in this jar. And it actually lights up. I just don't have batteries for it. Then I put a Polaroid picture of me and Lola in there. You can't really see it, but she died three days before my brother, so. Snowball and boots made out of felt came from my trainer for Christmas. Then on the top shelf, the mean looking cat is Lovey. Maddie got me him. I have a picture of Whitey, the retired horse I had after Lola, but before Mickey. Then I have an old stirrup. I tried to lighten the rubber pad with baking soda and it was also like falling apart. But you know, obviously that didn't work out so well because it's super old. I have a fluffy alpaca stuffed animal that I got forever ago from Equine Affair. So then down here, I have this cardboard cat scratcher thing and it's actually Boots' favorite cat scratcher. And then Snowball likes the cat tower. And then I also have 
a food dish thing, but I don't keep the food in there. I keep it up in the tower so Charlie doesn't get it. I got this cat tower for Christmas and it is really big and tall and nice. Like when I asked for a cat tower for Christmas, I did not know that I was going to get this ginormous thing. They really love it. Next to my bed, I have my bracelet that I got at the Kentucky three-day event that says Lola on it. This is what's on my nightstand. I don't feel like explaining. I'm so bad at this type of video. And then this is my YouTube play button that I got. I can't even remember when I got it, but it has scratches on it. I don't even know how that happened, honestly, but I think this video should be a cat tour instead because once I started recording, they all of a sudden wanted to hang out, which happens every time I record a Star Stable video too because they just like listening to me even though actually snowball's deaf so he can sense the vibes and he likes it <laughs> the curtains are messed up because of my cats they stuck their claws in them so that's why it looks like this this is weeaboo my favorite cat stuffed animal i ran the led lights underneath my bed and actually this is boots's favorite spot to go when she's scared she likes that cat bed it used to be one of those cat beds that had a top to it and they would kind of like burrow inside of it but then i cut that part off because none of my cats were using it boots really likes to sit in there i don't think snowball ever goes in there but boots just likes under my bed when i have the lights on and everything and then she goes next to the vent because it's warm i'll show you my bathroom because i don't know why not it's really great okay snowball he has his he gets his lips stuck okay so he's old he had to get a bunch of teeth pulled out and so he only has one canine what do you call it in the cat i don't even know but i have to fix it he doesn't like when i try to fix his lip but he looks so weird i have another litter box in the bathroom that it's the one that they use and then all their food and stuff the food in here is in the sink because snowball knocks the dry food all over the place but then I do put their wet food actually on the counter. Don't worry. He just gets pissed when he has to eat dry food. And so he'll just take it and knock it over. And it's so annoying. There's this little picture of Lola that this girl named Lucy drew. This other picture is of me and Mickey. And I got this from a super nice girl at the barn. I don't know why Mickey's head looks so big in it though. I'll show you what's in the side drawers because there's no personal information in them. Just random stuff i guess it's not random it's it's very useful actually i shouldn't even say random i put a tiny cat sticker on this light thankfully it's not a spirit sticker like what's on my monitor also snowball's back again for the i don't even know how many time i have this little animal this little pink squishy animal i actually have no idea where i got it lydia do you know where i got it you gave it you, okay so you went Oh, okay, okay. Yes. When I went to Seattle with Maddie and Kate, I bought two slimes, one for me and one for Lydia, and they had these like little, what are they called? Azalitol? Azot, what? Axolotl. I forgot to show my mouse pad, but it's really gross. It has these like, I don't even know what to say about it, honestly. <laughs> Shut up. Oh my God. <laughs> That's the end of the tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.